We got Max Payne back here on the program. He's coming off a big win this past Saturday at UFC 236. Max, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm great. I'm real good. How are you? I bet, man. Uh, it's always nice coming off a victory, especially when the judges get it right this time. Uh, let's start there. Uh, the fight goes the distance. Uh, you and Amadiev, um, w- w- were you nervous at all just with what happened last time? No. Um, I wasn't worried. I knew I beat him. Tough fight, real good opponent. But I feel like, you know, I did what I had to do. Tried to finish him. He was tough, man. Um, but I went for it, you know. No, you certainly did. Um, were you surprised it was a majority decision? I think a lot of people watching felt like it was a clear-cut win for you. For sure. Clear-cut win. Even even with a, he, him even getting a point taken away. You know what I mean? It's like, he's judges, man. <laughs> a, I know. You can never I trust him. Um, heading into the fight, I mean, we talked. There was a little bit of, you know, personal bad blood there. I know you guys had trained a little bit before. Um, what happened during fight week? Because I heard some rumblings that... It got worse. It, yeah, it, it, it was like, it, it was, yeah, things got a little heated. Yeah, man. Um, I've seen them all in, uh, let's see, it happened at breakfast, man. I mean, even before breakfast, I've seen him at the pre weigh in. He didn't say nothing, nothing crazy, acting normal. And then when we get to the restaurant, um, you know, the re- refill up, hydrate and everything. Uh, my family and all my coaches went to go get something to eat. Uh, he then, like, runs up on me. He's like, you talking shit, you talking shit. I'm like, what? I'm like, we're fighting tomorrow, you know? And then he lets his uh, his coaches kind of come grab him. And then he does that, you know, let me go, you know, that whole thing. Right, right, acting like you're they're trying to hold back, him back. Or whatever, back. Right? Yeah. He does that whole thing, um, swing, swings at me, hits my water. My water goes over, like, this little table next to me. People are eating and stuff. Francis Nagano was right there, grabbed dude, and they took him, took him, made him sit back down. Some cops came, um, and then the UFC security came, talked to them, you know, and like, you can't fight. And like, we know you, they're like, we know you didn't do anything, but you can't fight. And I was like, he ran up on me, like, well, what, like, what can I do, you know? And they said, well, you could, you know, push them off you or whatever all this stuff i was like well i'm gonna do what i have to do but just so you know uh, keep them away from me you know yeah and you're like you're like one of the nicest guys like i don't think i've ever seen you like upset i mean i know we've only done interviews but still like you're you're not the type of guy that's gonna like start anything so i mean were you surprised by him doing that i know i was because he wasn't saying nothing the whole day the whole day before he wasn't actually waiting to make his move yeah waiting to make his move we then go to a Fast forward about two hours later when we're getting on the bus. Um, we're going to the waiting room. Um, Blue Corner goes first. So I'm still sitting down. They're walking. And they tell me when I get there, like, we talked to him. We yelled at him. Nothing else is going to happen. Um, we warned him. We told him, that you know, this isn't Russia or whatever. He walks by me, has a water bottle in his hand, and, like, fakes it at me. And it opens and gets on me. I stand up. By then, I'm like, I'm, we're fighting. Like, if you're in my range, like, we're gonna fight. Cause you can't do that twice. The first time, uh, second time, I gotta defend. I gotta defend myself now. You know. And he did it right in front of Dean. He did it right in front of the UFC staff. They're like, what's wrong with this guy? They grab him, yell at him again. Um, and I'm on the bus going to the weigh-ins. And if you know how the weigh-ins are, you're you're front to back with your opponent. I mean, you're just 24 of us in a line. You know what I mean? Like. And I told him, like, I can't be that close to him. I'm going to beat him up. Like, we're going to fight now. So, uh, they're like, we get it. We told him not to. He did it again anyway. He's stupid. So, uh, I get there. The uh, director of security has to walk with me. And then I have all these guards and all these other guys. Um, in between us, he was in his own room. Just a bunch of unnecessary, like, headache, you know? Yeah, but, uh, that's e- that's crazy though. Even after that, you know, um, we do the way we do the stare down. He's all pushing on Dana, like get off of Dana. Like I'm, I'm looking at him. I'm doing a stare down, but he's all like, you know, we get separated. We go back to the hotel, and then the only thing that kind of sucked was uh, I had to be with my people the whole time. Like, because uh, if we would have ran into him at the hotel, like we would have fought. Like if we, like if it was just us. You know, I'm not just going to let him run up on me like that. Like, I'm going to strike first now. 
And um, so I had like had to have my coaches with me all the time. It's like a buffer, you know. If they see him, they got to see him between me and him because I want to. I want to get paid. You know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah. You're. Yeah. I mean, you're taking money out of your pocket. Uh, if him trying to do this, if you guys fight, I mean, that's gonna. You know, there's gonna be legal stuff. It's. It's not a good situation. No, and he doesn't care about that. You know, and I care about fighting and winning and getting paid. Um. So yeah. Now, now, does this play at all in in the fight at all? Like, are you thinking about this, Did, or were you able to block it out? Because I mean, you fought some guys before who can you know kind of talk a little bit of trash, like Mike Perry. But this seems like a completely different level. It was a it was a different thing. He was in the he was in the uh, he was talking shit when we're fighting. You know, like I don't know if I can cuss on here, but he was saying stuff. C- cuss, cuss away, man. This is he was this like, is Fuck uncensored. You. Fuck you, motherfucker. You know, when I was cross facing him and shit in the first, I was choking him. He was just like. Fuck you, fuck you. He was saying shit like that the whole time. And halfway through, I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. You know, fuck you, bitch. I was talking shit back. Um, he was cheating, though, man. He uh, he grabbed the cage a few times and uh, uh, a couple of times he had double under hooks on me. He was holding the cage. My coaches looked back and people told me he was holding the cage. You know what I mean? With his fingers on the underhook. Uh, his fingers were in my glove a few times. I'm like, your damn fingers, get your damn finger out of my glove. Hold my glove, hold my shorts. Just dirty, man. Uh, yeah, dirty guy. Now, anything happened after the fight, or did was that it? You got to actually go enjoy your night and enjoy the victory. Um, we got back in the green room. I mean, I was looking for the guy. Uh, <laughs> I bet. No, I'd be pissed too. It's crazy, man. You know, I was looking for the guy, not to like. Uh, do anything but to have inventory like where is he like the whole time man it was like i'm looking over my shoulder and like 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 even sitting i know his coaches were in the back room but he wasn't there so i don't know if he went home if he left did he he snuck off i don't know if he's gonna come from the side and try to do something to me like he's such a poor sport man he's a uh, man it was uh, the harder the harder fight was not fighting before the fight you know what I mean? And he said, I'm talking all this shit. The only shit I said was true. And I, I didn't even say, like, the bad stuff. You know what I mean? All I said was about, you know, him trying to hurt everybody, um, getting kicked out, you know, throwing flying knees at uh, uh, Tennis Planet, trying to fight Forrest Griffin, the true stuff. And then he wants to behave like this. Like, you're even making it look worse. Like, it's... It's like you're proving what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, um, but yeah, it was it was a good win. We had USA behind me in there. Um, he flipped me off halfway through, and the crowd didn't like it. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to put this one behind me, man. I bet. Um, did the UFC say anything to you after the fight about all the stuff? Like, I'm sure they were aware of what was going on, but did yeah, they say anything you know, like, they were sorry about it. They were glad I kicked that guy ass. So. Yeah. Do you think he's going to get cut for this? I mean, I would, you know, he lost. They mentioned, and... they mentioned it. Um, they mentioned it to me, you know, I've heard different people say that, that he is going to get cut, but who knows? Um, he is one of Ali's guys. Oh, is he? Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. That's interesting. Okay, well, that, you know. Yeah, so probably not. He's one of all these guys, and, he, you know, he was a hot prospect, you know? Um, like I'm saying, the Russians have this mystique thing about him. Give me that. Can you grab that bone, please? Sorry, my dog is chewing on this bone. Like I can't. No worries. Multitasking. Else. I know how it is. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. You know, he's one of all these guys. He's supposed to be like Khabib's cousin and all this stuff and this. And I guess he comes from all this money over there in Chechnya. I just found out his dad's like a millionaire, or a billionaire, or something. He has all this money. Um. To put behind him, he's like all this shit. But uh, fuck that guy, man. All right. Well, that's the last time we'll talk about him on here. Um, what, what, what's what's the plan uh, after this? Um, you know, it seems like he came out relatively unscathed. Uh, what what's sort of the plan for you know a return? When when are you looking to fight again? Um, I'm working on re- renegotiating my contract right now. Oh, that nice. Okay. Well, that's in. good. You're cu- yeah. That was three in. I have one more, but uh, I feel like I got some you good. Can't, you can't, yeah, you can't go off with one. You you got you got to renegotiate before the last one, right? So. Yeah. So um, it's a good time. You know. I beat Tiago, and then I beat this guy. I got some momentum. Um, Dana did an interview after the thing. He liked my fight. Um, he brought it up when they asked, uh, you know, you know, he was up there, and they said, hey, is there any uh, 
Um, I know the the main thing called me and stole the show. I mean, I, you know, are there any other fights that you like? And he goes, uh, the Khalil Roundtree fight was real good. The Keita Krylov. And then he's like, uh, oh, yeah, that Max Griffin fight. Max Griffin fight. Great fight. Love that fight. Max Griffin, great fight. So he gave me some kudos on there. And uh, I want to. I want to get paid, and I want to go get in there. You know what I mean? I got the show with some different stuff this fight, um, some more wrestling and stuff. But it's just going to make my guys now, like, is he going to wrestle? Is he going to strike? But now I could mix a lot more stuff in and just just keep adding stuff, you know? Well, what does that mean when you hear that from Dana, especially? Because, like, you know, it wasn't that long ago we were talking. You quit your job, and you went sort of all in on this. I mean, it's like the hard work is paying off. I know there's been a few setbacks, uh, you know, but, but I mean, you must be really thrilled to, to hear that everything's coming coming together. Yeah, it's coming back together, man. Um, it's starting to fit in the place. I'm going to start doing a lot more, uh, what do you call it? They talk to me about doing, the, um, you know, a lot more fighter relations stuff, um, going to fights, flying me out, doing signings, guest fighters, different stuff. Um, so yeah, it's coming together, man. What about recovery? What, what is that looking like this week? Uh, cause again, I know you come out of a fight, especially a decision. Now you got a, probably a few bumps and bruises, but nothing crazy. What, what's on the recovery list this week? Yeah. Um, I already seen my PT, my chiropractor. I got to probably go to cryo later, um, uh, get some massage stuff in. I've been on my CBD turp house. I've been using that, the drops, the lotion, the cartridges. Uh, but yeah, this whole week I'll keep my heart right under one about 135 to 115 to, to do that recovery cycle to make me recover faster. Nothing real hard, but I already want to get back in there. I'm already like, I'm Talking motivated, man. I'm motivated. Like, let's go. I have stuff to work on, and I want to get in there. And uh, you know, it's exciting right now. A lot of stuff going on. Is is there anyone you're looking at as far as the next opponent, or you just leave that up to no, your coaches? And everything? I don't care right now. Um, and I was happy to get a win, get my win money, man. It's like they've just been, been doing me. But, yeah, uh, like I said, I just want to renegotiate um, and get down, man, get better. Before I let you go, what is the plan for this week? I know there's a lot of recovery. I, I follow you on Instagram. I saw you and, uh, you know, uh, your significant other got got some time together. How's, how's everything going this week? What's on What's on deck? It's good, you know. Uh, I do all my eating. I I owe a lot of people lunches and dinners, and people want to go do stuff. So this week I'll be recovering, um, and eating a lot. And I already don't want to eat junk food anymore. I've already powered down a few round table pizzas. I already ate a few tubs of ice cream, and uh, I'm I can only do that for about a day. I used to be able to do it for about two weeks. Now it's like one day. It's like, okay, let me eat my you know healthy shit. So. Um, just a bunch of eating, seeing the family. Got I got to go pick up my son from school in a couple hours. Um, just feel lay low, man. Because when 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 it's not this week, it's bam, 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 train, boom. You know, so I how you have to uh, you have to balance it out. Yeah, and you got uh, and you got your teammate Aspen's fighting on the 18th, right? So I'm sure uh, you know yeah. some preparations there too. Yep, so. yep, should be ready to go. Just talked to her yesterday. Do you ever go on those hikes with her? She does that hiking like every no, day. No, she I think lives so too cool. far, man. She does it on her own with her uh, okay. her, her sled team. <laughs> yeah, know? with exactly. Yeah, with the, the wolves and everything. I told her she's got to teach them how to like do the sledding thing. They should go to Alaska. That'd yeah, kind of fun. So yeah, that'd, for that'd sure. Kind of neat. Uh, Max, always a pleasure, man. Congratulations you, again on the win. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shoutouts, the floor is yours. Man, find me on Instagram, Max Pain MMA. Twitter, I'm barely on there though. Same thing, Max Pain MMA. Uh, I just want to thank Sacramento, man. Thank my family. Thank Sacramento. Thank all my fans. This is a. Uh, it's been a hell of a fight. Hell, hell of a little career we've been have going, and uh, you know. You know, I finally watched a fight last, uh, the night before last for the first time, and it was exciting. So I understand, you know, it was a good fight, um, but I appreciate all love. It was the first time where the whole arena was um, chanting for me. Usually I'm the, in enemy territory. Usually I'm fighting the hometown guy. I still hate me, but there are all the country people. Get him, Max. Get him. Go, Max. You know, it was, uh, it was an honor, man. I love ATL. I love Atlanta. I love these fans. And, uh, you know, I love all the people that helped me out. You guys know who you are. You did it for all of us, the people champ. Meme King, Sacramento, hold it down, baby.